My name's Andrew Lindell. I was born in 1960, so that makes me 53 years old. So I'm like twice your age. But uh, if you listen carefully, I have some pretty good advice that actually works quite well. Um, every piece in here is different, but it does have a very special meaning to me. What I constantly like in my like life is I like happiness, I like I want to be healthy, and I want to be wealthy. And if you don't think of those things and really truly live them, you won't get them. So when I look at this, it reminds me of you have to ask. If you don't see yourself there, you won't get there. If you and the other thing that I like about this is it's full of a positive energy. Again, that relies on the law of attraction, which is if you surround yourself with positive energy, positive things will happen. I've been going up to the Arctic for the last 30 years or so. I spent two years straight in a little hamlet called um, Arviat, which is in Nunavut. It's on the western coast of Hudson's Bay. And that culture taught me many, many things. The Inuit are just an incredible people. And these antlers were given to me by a wonderful man named James Nunnock, who is a Inuit hunter. I, I chose triangles because the triangle is basically what is happening not only in the north, but in the world right now. And that is, there's a top-down way of doing business, government, everything in life, in Western life, is a top-down theory. You have all your power in the top and it trickles down to the wider people. And in the native culture, it's a circle. This is one I call Arvia. And I really like this because of the um, that reminds me of the RV at sunset. RV, it's very, very, very flat. It's like the prairie. But what makes this painting special to me is that the, the pigments from the oil of the tropical wood come out behind the oil in the, uh, it's basically cadmium orange mixed with the little earth pigments. But every year, it changes its background. It's kind of like the clouds moving. It's lightened up right now, and I think without those pigments in it, it, it wouldn't be as strong. I was in a really bad industrial accident. Um, there, there's one of my descriptions on landscape. One describes it briefly. I was in a, and I couldn't work. And I remembered um, looking at this documentary by Evil Knievel, who was this amazing stuntman who broke every bone in his body about five times. And every time he crashed and he couldn't work, he did artwork. He painted and did stuff. So I, so when I was unable to work, I thought, wow, if he can do it, then maybe I should. So I discovered at, that was at the age of 40, that I would go back and I would actually try and do an artistic panel as opposed to a piece of furniture or um, something functional in the house. This was basically just a wall piece, which I had never done before. I love writing, I like yeah. poetry, and I love the uh, storytelling element. So to me, that was part of the whole process, was yeah. putting, putting a descriptive um, meaning behind them. Are you concerned that Henry doesn't think you're a real artist? 
Yes. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it, pal? I, I have to step up, I guess. <laughs> A lot of pressure. I, I, he said, but he doesn't have the white beard and the hat. So uh, maybe we just need to work on the picture. <laughs> well, but what I'm, yeah. what I'm thinking of doing is when I have more time, yeah. like I think I started the opposite to the way that you guys are starting, and that is you guys are learning it the way I would have liked to have learned it. Did you, which go, is, did, did you have formal training? No, no right? No. Sort of brought but that what up. I wish I had done, and I, don't, I, I just don't have the inclination right now, in the future I'm going to learn how to draw.